bless the lord kingdom kings and queens welcome or welcome back to your girl's channel if you're new here and you want to access your keys to the kingdom you already know what to do go right ahead hit that subscribe button turn the post notification bell so you don't miss an upload when we do okay guys as you can already tell by the title today's video is gonna be how i found out that i was born a seer the five signs that the lord indicated that i was a seer okay so if you are also in search to find out who you are if you might be attached to the seer realm keep on watching without any further ado let's jump right into the video let's go Before I get into the five signs that he used to indicate to me that I was a born seer and it can indicate to you as well that you are also a seer. Who is a seer? A seer is a prophet who sees visions. They see what God is doing and revealing rather than just hearing his words. So a seer is a prophet, but a prophet is not a seer. Okay, so who is a prophet? A prophet is... A prophet is a person regarded as an inspired teacher or proclaimer of the will of God. A prophet speaks the mind of God. As they hear it, they speak it. Amen? Cool. So, when you are a seer, you don't necessarily have to hear in order to see. But when you're a prophet, you have to hear in order to speak right so a seer don't need to hear anything for them to speak all they have to do is see but a prophet has to hear in order to speak so if a prophet ear should be spiritually blocked a prophet is not functional because they aren't able to get the messages from god they aren't able to tap into the mind of god but a seer if their ears is blocked they can see they can smell they can feel and they can taste in the realm of the spirit because they are seers. They operate in the watcher's realm. Every seer is a prophet, but not every prophet is a seer. Okay. I am a seer prophet. I operate from the watcher's eye. I function in the seer realm and I'm able to see events happening in the spirit before it manifests here on earth and as a seer i also operate strongly in the ability of discerning of spirits so i can discern a spirit quickly all right so the bible speaks about seers there were quite a few seers in the in the scriptures we have samuel ezekiel isaiah daniel we have Jeremiah. There's quite a few seers in the Bible. God. There's quite a few seers in the scriptures. And some of the scriptures that you can go to to concrete this claim is 1 Samuel 9 verse 19 which reads, And Samuel answered Saul and said, I am the seer. Go up before me unto the high place, for he shall eat with me today. And tomorrow I will let thee go, and I will tell thee all that is in thine heart. Okay, so that's one. You have First Chronicles nine twenty two. You have First Chronicles twenty nine twenty nine. You have Second Samuel twenty four eleven. First Samuel nine eleven. You have Second Kings seventeen verse thirteen. 1 Kings 17 verse 1. So those are a few scriptures that indicated that seers were in the scriptures. We're going to move into the five signs that indicates that you are a seer. You operate in the seer realm. The first sign is that I am highly visual. I get open vision, closed vision. I go in trances. I, I, I am highly visual. I will be sitting down right here. And I will just see a flashlight comes up with a name. Or I will see a flashlight comes up 
with a picture of an airplane i will just sit down and i will see like a movie of some event that happened or is going to happen playing in a short clip before me and i'm like whoa whoa and uh, when i was even much younger when i was younger this started i would say when i was around seven when i was around seven that was around the time when some weird things started to happen to me when i was seven jeremiah 1 verse 11 the lord says more the word said moreover the word of the lord came unto me saying jeremiah what seest thou and i said i see a rod of an almond tree and then said the lord unto me thou art seen well for i will hasten my word to perform it Whatever Jeremiah saw was something that was happening in the realm of the spirit. So I would sit down and I would just see something and it would just happen. Number two, I have a lot of prophetic mental impressions. So I get a lot of prophetic mental impressions. So I, I will know things and I don't know how I know it. Something in me just tell me that this is what is happening. Or um, let me explain. I would be in a room. I would be in a room or, and I would just feel sad. I would just feel like a, a, a sadness just overtake me. And something in me tells me that someone in the room is going through something sorrowful or i'll be i'll be in a space and i just feel like my head this portion of my head is being ripped apart and something in me tells me that someone is suffering from migraine you know so i don't know how i know but i know so i get a lot of prophetic mental impressions like the thing is just pressed upon me and i just know it i don't know how i know it but i know it i remember i went to the laundromat and while i was at the laundromat doing laundry this woman came in while i was doing my laundry and she came in and as soon as she came in and she stood there my foot my foot my knee started to hurt me like some like pins pins were being juked in my knees like pins were being juked in my knees and something in me told me that the woman has an issue with her knees where she's feeling excruciating pain because of this thing it was impressed upon me and it's like i i could see the thing happening in her knees and so i went to her and i'm like excuse me um is there something wrong with your knee? This is what da 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 da. And she's like, yes, yes. How do you know that? I prayed with her, prayed for her, and the way she came in, she was literally, basically leaping, going out. So that's the kind of thing that happened. I don't know how I know these things. I just know them. So you get prophetic, mental impressions. You don't know how you know the thing, but you just know it. I'm not talking about guessing now. I'm talking about there's just something in you that lets you know what's happening. And it's as though you can visualize, you could see the thing happening and see how the thing has happened and see how the thing is currently occurring. How you know? I don't, I can't explain how I know. But those things happen to you. I'm not talking about oh, guessing that someone is having a migraine or guessing that someone knee or something. No. You just know because it is impressed upon you. And so something in you lets you know for real that it that it, that's the case. And we see this in Daniel chapter 7. Daniel had prophetic mental impressions all the time. But number three. I am always compelled to pray. I am an intercessor at heart for real. So, but what we have to understand though is that every seer is an intercessor but not every intercessor is a seer cool so every single seer is an intercessor because it's like things are impressed upon you and you are compelled to pray things are brought to you and you are compelled to pray you are a, a watchman 
you see things before it comes. So you are a watchman of the realm. You see something and you are able to change that thing through prayer. You are able to change that thing because you see it. You see it before it, it manifests. You see it before it comes. You have an open vision. You have a closed vision. You go in a trance. You see this thing and then you are compelled to pray. Always compelled to pray. And what we have to understand is that when you see things, it's for you to pray it through or to pray against it. And once you operate in that seat, seer, you can change anything. You can change anything. When, when you pray, when you see something, you can change it. When the Lord shows you something, say for instance, you that someone is set to die at this hour and this time, you could stop it. Because you sit in that office and you sit for a reason. So you could stop that thing from happening. That's how seers operate. You operate in the watcher's realm. Number four. I have a lot of deja vus. So you up and you also operate in a revelatory realm. You are able to decode secrets that you are shown in the kingdom of heaven. You spend a lot of time in the word and prayer. So you are able to get revelation. To unfold and to decode the secrets of the kingdom that you are shown. And we see you get a lot of these moments where you are taken in the spirit. And you are shown something. And you come back and you are like, whoa, whoa, that was, that was crazy. You know, so and, and you get revelation about it and you know how to gradually share it with people. You, you use wisdom and stuff. So a person that is a seer operates in revelation and wisdom, revelation and wisdom. You know how to decode heavenly stuff, right? And deja vu, you will see something happen like you live through the moment because you are visual. You live through the moment and naturally it happens and you're like, did I not go through this before? I've, I've seen this. I've seen this event before. I've seen this happen before from start to finish. You have deja vu moments. You are able to give revelation. Not every single person operates in a revelatory realm. Right? But seers operate in the realm of revelation. And finally, number five. Number five is I can easily access the dream realm. I can easily get a dream. I could easily go in the dream realm. Easy, easy, easy. I have dream back to back. So when you're a seer, you will have multiple dreams. Eight to ten dreams a week. Sometimes even in a day. I remember just last week, I woke up from a dream. And I went back to sleep straight in a, in a dream. I woke up from that dream and I went back to sleep in an extreme. I woke up again and I went back in an extreme. Like you, you, you are able to access the dream realm. You are able to access the dream realm in and out of dreams. I remember that I woke up and the dream wasn't finished. And I was like, I'm going back in this dream. And I went straight back into the dream and it picks up right where it left off. You are able to access the dream realm freely freely access the dream realm and most importantly what you dream about not sometimes not maybe not if but always come to pass always always and seers usually wake up at the prophetic hour 3 a.m to 5 a.m your dreams the dreams that you have always come to pass always and it always plays out the exact way that you saw it every single time um to share one of this i remember when i was in primary school i was in I was in grade four or five one of those grades i was in and i remember i went to bed and i had a dream where i saw my uncle and he went to the ball field to play football and he got a cut in his back. I saw the size of the cut and everything. And he was bleeding. He was wearing a white shirt. He was bleeding. And he didn't know that he was bleeding. And I saw that one of my next uncle, his older brother, saw him and say, Yo, you, you're bleed. You're bleeding. And he said, Oh, oh my fear bleed. Why am I bleeding? And he said, Look, you're bleeding. And he took his shirt off and he was bleeding. 
he was bleeding and so when i woke up from this dream i went to my uncle and i said listen i dreamt this that two two wednesday from now in the next two weeks wednesday at this time you're gonna go to the ball field and you're gonna get into some altercation with someone and they're gonna cut you and you're not gonna know they're gonna garlic the knife and he's like no nisi i'm good i'm good i'm good and i said to him please don't go to the ball field and the first wednesday pass he went to the ball field and the, the when the, the time was coming up i woke up again the morning and i went to him and i'm like today's the day don't go to the ball field remember my dream don't go to the ball field and he went to the ball field he went to the ball field and the exact same thing that i dreamt happened R mind you i don't know who i am i don't know what's going on i'm not a christian i'm not saved i'm not nothing i'm just there getting all these weird things that i don't know or how i'm getting them why i'm getting them i don't know but every time i would tell them something it would happen and so they were like yo you have goat mouth and, and i'm like i don't know how i saw it but i saw it and i i showed him the exact spot in his back that he got the cut and how many stitches i saw and to today this day he has that same scar with the same amount of 32 stitches that's in his back from that very night dear that that experienced the event they could tell you morning came so quickly we couldn't believe it we talk about that day even today even today so you get dreams you are able to access the dream realm easily and whatever you dream always come to pass so as a seer your job is to if you see something bad it's your duty to stop it you operate in the watcher's realm if you see something good it's your duty to declare the thing forward you operate in the watcher's realm for a reason you are the watchman in the spirit and so those are the signs that he indicated to me and pointed out to me of all the occurrences that happened throughout my life and so to say this is who you are this is who you are and so garner your get under the tutelage grow so that you can go forth and complete your assignment and so yeah so those are the signs that he indicated to me that i am a born seer so if you have been experiencing these things and you are wondering why am i seeing this why am i going through this why is this happening you might want to check with the lord to find out if you are a seer or you operate in their seer's realm Thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye.